Alright, so I'm getting ready to make dinner. Just thought I'd do another quick cooking video using the George Foreman grill. I'm going to prepare a New York style steak with some zucchini and also some awesome Hawaiian bread rolls. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, it's going to be short and simple, to the point, and easy enough for anyone to do. So as you see, you're looking at, I got a New York style steak here. I got a large zucchini and I got some Hawaiian bread on the back. What I'm basically going to do first to do some prep work, I'm going to season the steak and I'm going to slice up the zucchini. I'm going to cut it in half, half like this ways, and then I'm also going to cut it lengthwise a few times to make it flat to sit on the grill. So I'm going to go ahead and do the prep work and I'll be right back to the video. Alright, so first I'm going to prep up the, the steak here. I trimmed off some of the excess fat on it and I also trimmed the bone off. I'm just going to season it up a little bit. Just going to use a little bit of sea salt, also some cayenne pepper. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, not, I don't, I'm not too big on the seasonings. I like the sauces more, so I'm going to be using A1 sauce. And um, So I'm just going to season it up a little bit. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Some of this is actually going to come off on the grill anyway, so mainly you're just trying to season it up a little bit, give it a little bit of, of a base taste. And then of course I'm going to use the sauce afterwards. Now that I got that seasoned up, um, you also want to pull out your grill, get it ready, and go ahead and start preheating it. I'm going to put it on the high heat setting and preheat it for about 5-10 minutes before throwing this on. So I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to start prepping the zucchini. Just slice it up. I'm going to show you how I slice that up. Alright, so you want to make sure that you sanitize your cutting board from using the meat and going to the vegetables first. But um, I've done that. Just going to cut the ends off of the zucchini here. Set those aside. I'm going to cut it in half. And then just going to cut it long ways a couple times. So that it makes it quicker and a little easier on the grill when you throw it on. That'll actually probably work, but you know what? That'll work. So we'll go ahead and do three slices on each. This is really good on the grill. It just um, cooks up really well. And they don't have to be perfect. Basically all you're going to be doing is you're going to grill it on the grill like so. Um, but I'm going to cook the meat first. And then I'm going to throw these on afterwards. Clean off the grill a little bit. And I'll go ahead and get into grilling up the meat. Alright, so here we have our Foreman grill. Um, you want to get your grill prepped as far as cleaning it up. If you hadn't cleaned it after the last use. And then you want to go ahead and preheat it. I think it mentions about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, this one we're going to have on high heat. I think I had it preheated for just a couple minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and throw the meat on here. And uh, just go ahead and get it started. Now this is somewhat of a thin meat. You can already hear it sizzling a little bit. But um, basically we're going to let this cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. Um, come back and check the tenderness. Check how much I like it as far as how much it's done. I like my meat pretty well done. And as soon as that's done, we'll clean off the grill, throw the zucchini on there, and cook up the rolls, heat them up, and then we'll be ready to eat. So stay tuned. Alright, so I've been grilling the steak for about six or seven minutes. Let's go ahead and check and see if it's done. Looks pretty done. It actually looks pretty well done. So let me get a knife and I'll cut into it. Give me one second. Let's see what we got here. This is relatively thin steak, so it should be, yeah, that's more than well done. See no pink in there at all. So let me put this on a plate, get the grill cleaned up, and then I'm going to throw the zucchini on. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm ready to put the zucchini on. I just kind of season them up with a little bit of salt. Um, I turn my grill on to medium heat. Because these don't need to cook as hot or as long. I'm just basically going to, um, you're just grilling them up, just getting them hot, cooking them just a little bit, but not too much. Um, and when I get them on here, I'm going to season the other side. Now you can use butter with this, although you don't have to. I'm honestly not going to. I'm just going to throw them on here. They cook fine with no butter. They might take a little bit longer, but, you know, it's just a little healthier with no butter. Throw a little bit of salt on there. If you want the salt to stick more, you can butter them up. But we're just going to let these cook. Um, sometimes they take a little longer than the meats. It might take 
I don't know, five to ten minutes, I'll just come back and check. And when they're done, I'll go ahead and show the finished product. Oh, one more thing is that I'm going to cook or heat up the, um, the Hawaiian rolls on top of the Foreman grill. So when these get close to done, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So stay tuned. All right, so the meal's about done. You can see the bread rolls I got up here, the Hawaiian sweet bread rolls. I just threw them on top of the Foreman grill. I wiped it off real good first, kind of cleaned it up. I like to do that. If you want a hot roll, you can just set them on top and it warms them up for your meal. Um, I'm not going to put any butter on them because I'm a purist with these things. I love them just by themselves. So let me set these off. These are about hot and ready to go. And we'll see if our zucchini's done. Looks pretty done. I, I don't like it um, too cooked. I do like it a little bit raw. So I'm going to throw these on my plate real quick. I think I cooked these for about 10 minutes. Some, one side doesn't look all the way done, but the other side is definitely grilled up. And these are great. You know, if you like zucchini or you like ve fresh vegetables that aren't overly cooked, this is a great way to, to eat them. And you can season them more or less. really depends on what you like. But um, as soon as I get these off, I'll show you what it looks like. The finished product. With everything together. My little improvised spatula. You know, these grills do come with a spatula that works pretty well, but I lost mine, unfortunately. Alright, so let me get that out of the way here. Close the grill. Here's the finished product. I'm just going to put a little bit of A1 sauce on my meat. Add the finishing touch. And... Let me see if I can do that on camera for you. I like A1 Original, best stuff on earth for a steak sauce, in my opinion. Just pour it on there, you can never have enough. Or I can never have enough, at least. Anyway, so that's tonight's meal. You got zucchini with New York steak and Hawaiian sweetbread rolls all on the Foreman Grill. So thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Hope you all subscribe and take care.